foodies welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be showing you how to make a mat waffle dish And if you're a new member, please subscribe as well. I promise you will never get bored as far as this channel is concerned. Also, don't forget to click on the notification box that you might get instant notification each time I upload. Okay, for the video we have for today, let me introduce you to the ingredients. Now you know your ingredients, come on, let's get started with this cooking process. Meanwhile, I will be practical. I won't be doing any voiceover. I will be showing you exactly how I love to cook. So there won't be any voiceover or nothing. We are going to be cooking this together. It's just like a cook with me, okay? So let's get started. Now this is the pot I'm going to be using for this banga rice recipe. It's a banga rice. So what I'm going to do now is to grab my banga extract. Now this is my banga extract. I did it myself actually. Um, you all know, you all know how to make a banga extract. I went to the market yesterday and I bought three hundred naira for a panel, and I came here boiling for like one one hour or so. So I gave it a half pound, just added a little quantity of water, and the water I want to use, and I washed it off, saved it away, and blah blah blah. And that was how I got this. So this has been sitting in my fridge for the past, um, let's say, two four hours. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use it for this banga. Of course, banga rice is banga. Next up now, I am going to be trimming it inside this pot, okay? This goes in here. Next, I'm going to turn on my gas. Now, this water won't be enough at all. So, what I'm going to do now is to add my bone broth, which is also known as uh, beef stock. But if you don't have these things, the chicken stock, you can actually use chicken stock, but if you don't have them, you can actually use water. So what goes in there now is my bone broth. It's my bone broth. Okay, so this bone broth was actually made by me. I made it yesterday while I was also making the bone extra. Now this is going in here as well. So I'll just throw this in here. Uh oh. So next I'm going to be adding now is my diced onion and my diced pepper. Now I have to dice the pepper because I love seeing the pieces so that pieces on top of the rice even though it looks so beautiful and colorful. So I'm going to be adding this now. This one goes in and my my onion comes in. Alright. Alright, next now I am going to be covering my pot and bringing it to a boil for like Five minutes or more. Can you pick any how you want it? Can be five minutes, can be ten minutes, up to you. For me, I have a little mind to boil for five minutes, okay? okay. Yeah. Alright, it's five minutes already, and let me check what is happening in the pot. Wow, this looks so gorgeous, my friend. Hmm. Because my kitchen is actually in a rice paradise right now. Alright, now that this is boiling, next up is my diced meat. Now, this is my meat which I've diced into my pieces. Now, the reason I'm adding meat is just to give it that meaty look. And just a scoop of rice, of course, you're getting a meat for an example. That's what I mean. So, I'm going to be adding this to my meat now. Alright, so next now is my crayfish. This is not just crayfish alone. I have a um, baby here. You know what the only is now? Um, castor seed, yeah, castor seed. And my crayfish. I mix it to the two. Remember, this is a local dish and I have to make it look local as possible. So I'm going to add this here. Drain it here. Okay, and I am going to be stirring. Right, next up now is 
my salt, salt, and my stock cube. in this power uh, banga rice there's not much water in this banga so what I'm going to do now is to add more of my own broth to add this into this now this is perfect I didn't cover the rice at all I'm going to be using a foil to help to trap the heat so that the, the rice can cook to tender Alright, I'm done with this. So I'm going to be coming back in 10 minutes time to check on this. Don't forget to reduce the heat so that it's not burn, okay? See you guys in 10 minutes time. Okay, it's 10 minutes already and let's see what's going on here. And okay, the water is already dried up. And of course, you know, this rice was not pre-cooked. So I'll have to check if it's actually cooked in tender. Alright, so let's check this out. Okay, let me see. Mm, is this strong? So I'm gonna be adding little water to this. Okay, I have still have my own broth. So so this is my bone broth. Uh, I'm going to add it into my bone broth. So, okay. this is perfect. Alright, let me just give you some little stir. So that everything could be mixed up. Please go very young. Just add 